All right, so the final uh, video here is to show how uh, you can start extending from here. So GraphQL uh, is now hooked up to your Contenta CMS uh, powered by JSON API. Uh, and that is your content microservice, uh, but you can start adding much more than that. So what I did uh, in this example it's very, very simple, but it hopefully it highlights the potential of the of the concept. So inside of the type definition, I said, well, my recipe not only has data from content CMS, but also has a field, an extra field called random, uh, which serves to illustrate how you can run any arbitrary code that maybe populates data from a very known recipe database. Uh, that you don't want to integrate into, into Drupal necessarily, or from the weather.com API, or uh, from a ticketing system, uh, how to you know, uh, buy a cook show cooking ticket for uh, this particular recipe. What do I know about, uh, about your project, uh, right? So uh, here I'm just illustrating how you can add a random string in here. Uh, so I added the field, but since this is not in content CMS, uh, you need to say, well, this is how you resolve this field inside of recipes. And now it's where resolver map gets interesting. So basically uh, we say in the recipe, the random field uh, takes all of the, uh, all of the, the properties or the arguments that we said before, and we're just, created a, a random number and then just adding some uh, some data in there. So uh, basically this is what it does. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run build and restart everything. And here I'm gonna refresh. Uh, so we still get the same thing, but if we add here, you can see how uh, it already populates the field and it gives you the, oops, the documentation that uh, we wrote in, oops, sorry, in here. So with triple quotes, you can add documentation about fields uh, and uh, it populates there. So and that, add that random at the end and uh, if we quit uh, we click play, it's going to generate a random field for each one of the recipes. Uh, and yep, uh, it generates different random fields uh, every time. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can execute any arbitrary code. You can fetch from other APIs. You can, uh, you could even have uh, your own database access directly in Node.js, uh, whatever your needs are, uh, you can, uh, you can use it here and use GraphQL to uh, stitch or to knit all of your services together. And I think that's a very powerful idea. And that's why it's wise to have GraphQL inside of Node.js because every different thing that you do, uh, calling content to CMS and maybe calling this ticketing service uh, can happen in parallel where as if you were doing this in in PHP, uh, that would be blocking I/O, and you would have to be sequential, and performance will degrade rapidly. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, now we're going to go quickly through the diff uh, that we created and uh, recap everything that we learned.